Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the Japanese European Girls Mathematical Olympiad Team Selection Test, final round 2024, problem number 3. I believe that it is actually EGMO Team Selection Test on the Art of Problem Solving forums, it was called EGMO Preliminary, but I don't know, probably it is Team Selection Test. We wish to find all functions f from the set of real numbers into itself, satisfying the following functional equation f of f of x plus x y equals f of x times f of x plus y for all real numbers x and y so here are my hints for this equation first consider what happens if f of f of x zero equals zero for some non-zero argument pretty easy to verify what happens then and now assume that uh, well it does not happen so f of x is not 0 for non-zero arguments. First, set x to be 0 and y to be f of 0 to show that f of 0 is either 0 or 1. If f of 0 is 1, let x be 0, and if f of 0 is 0, let y be equal minus x. And also do the verification after each step. So give this problem a try. Right, so here is my solution. First case, let's consider first case. Case number one. Well, there is a real number x0, but which is not 0, such that f of x0 is 0. In this case, I will let, I will set maybe, I will set x to be x0. x to be x0. And I will Yes, that's it. What then? Then we have the following equation. f of f of x0 plus x0y equals f of x0 f of x0 plus y. And now let's take a look. We are supposing that f of x0 is 0, so the right hand side vanishes. And also here we have 0. So it's f of x0y equals 0. And remember that x0 is supposed to be not 0, y is arbitrary, so in fact we can get any real number uh, whatsoever here. So this means that for every, for example, real number z, f of z is 0. Pretty easy to verify that this is indeed a solution, because, well, 0 equals 0, no problem there. And also maybe I will call this equation asterisk. So I set x equals x0 in our condition asterisk. Second case, much more interesting, case number two. Let's suppose now that for every non-zero number x, f of x is also not zero. And now let's set the following. Let's set x to be zero and let's set y to be f of 0 in our functional equation asterisk. Well then, then we have the following. We have f of f of 0 plus 0 times f of 0 equals f of 0 f of 0 plus f of 0. All right, so we have the following, f of f of 0 equals f of 0, f of f of 0. And now we see the following, well, now we see the following. We have two options. Either f of 0 is 1, and this holds, so either f of 0 is 1, or f of f of 0 is 0. But remember that we are supposing that f of x is not 0 for not 0 arguments, so since this is 0, the argument must be 0. So either f of 0 is 1, or f of 0 is 0. Let's consider these cases separately. So, if f of 0 equals 1, then I will set, let's set, 
that set x to be zero in condition asterisk. And then we have the following. If I set x to be zero, I have f of f of zero plus zero y equals f of zero f of zero f of zero plus y. Right? And now here we have one, so it's f of one on the left hand side f of 1, f of 0 is supposed to be 1, so f of 1 equals f of y, for every y, y is arbitrary, so our function is constant, f is constant, constantly equal what? Well, since f of 0 is 1, it must be constantly equal 1. And now let's do verification. Uh, Let's go back. Verification is again straightforward because 1 equals 1 times 1. It is true. So function which is constantly 1 is also a solution. Maybe let's put it for every real number z. f of z equals 1. It's another solution. And finally, let's tackle the last case if f of 0 is 0. f of 0 is 0 then I wish to set I wish to set y to be minus x again in our condition asterisk in our condition asterisk what then then we have the following f of f of x minus x squared equals f of x f of 0. But remember that f of 0 is 0. So we have, in fact, f of f of x minus x squared equals 0. But recall that we are still dealing with case number 2 and we are supposing that f of 0 is 0 only for it can only be true for zero argument. So this means this means that the argument must be zero. So f of x equals x squared. So for every real number z, f of z equals z squared. And now let's do verification because it's not so straightforward. In this case. Verification. Maybe let's also include cases where f was constantly 0 and 1. If f is constantly 0, then it is OK. If f is constantly 1, it is also OK. We have checked that. And last case, when f of x is equal x squared, then we have the following. On the left hand side, on the left hand side, we have f of f of x plus xy, which is x squared plus xy squared, which is x to the fourth power 2x cubed y plus x squared y squared, while on the right hand side we have f of x, f of x plus y, and it is x squared x plus y squared, x squared x, it will be the same basically. It will be the same x to the fourth power 2x cubed y plus x squared y squared. So all in all we have exactly three solutions. 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 f of x is constantly 0 or f of x is constantly 1 or f of x is a quadratic function. And this closes our problem. So thank you very much for watching. I hope that you've learned something new this time. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.